Hi, I'm Dr. Yogesh Kamath. I'm a hip and knee specialist and uh, I'd like to tell you a little bit about joint replacements and implants. Now, uh, joint replacement as a surgery is gradually gaining wide acceptance because success of joint replacement surgeries has been very well proved worldwide. The WHO lists hip and secondly knee replacement as the first and the third best surgery that is there on this planet in terms of improving somebody's quality of life. Uh, when somebody has accepted that they are going to undergo a joint replacement procedure, I have family and relatives uh, asking me questions relating to what implant is going to go in. It is the commonest misconception that success related to joint replacement surgery has to do with a particular type of metal implant. I would really like to stress and clarify that it is technique rather than technology which is important here. We have very good technology across the world now with latest designs of implants available even in the remotest corners of our country. What is really required is standardization of good techniques. A good hospital would obviously invest in good operation theatres where foolproof maintenance of temperature and infection control measures are taken care of. There are certain things in joint replacement surgery where tolerance is absolutely zero. We have higher pressure theatre environments which make us able to not really give more than two to three doses of antibiotics even when we are putting large metal implants in. As regards implants, we often have patients demanding imported implants. Now it is not imported or indigenous which makes a difference because we've got very good manufacturing available indigenously as well. It is whether uh, a good data is available with that implant being tested in the condition that is in the patient and being followed up after it has been in the patient for more than a decade. Now, for example, if you see this one, this is a standard implant which has been there for uh, 20 years. It affords very good movement in bending and straightening of the knee. Whereas this one is more of a natural knee movement which as the knee bends, it allows it to rotate as well. Now, these implants are now available at a cost difference of barely 10,000 rupees. As regards hip, we have a wider variety of different types of materials and the way the implant is put in. That is, for example, if we see this, this is put in with cement and available at half the cost as compared to this one, which is put in without cement and available with bearings which are made of ceramic. Now, ceramic will last longer, but if it is done in the younger patient, an older patient who's 70 plus does not necessarily need the more expensive implant. So we can cater this to suit the patient best and with the right technique, make things more acceptable.